Hi there, my name is Talek Jameson. I'm the lead singer and frontman for the Celtic rock band, The Norman. And I'm here to tell you about our new project, which is called Celtic Giants. The music in which we will be performing live on stage and on the album. Songs from the past, the present, and our inspirations of what takes us into the future. But in order to do this and to do this justice, we need to get some history of the ancient Celts, a deeper knowledge of what the ancient Celts were about. And so this includes a lot of things, it's a history. So in order to do this, we're bringing on board a historian, Mr. Mark Vine, and we're also bringing in art designer, artist, Sam Vine. And today, day one, we've had, a, we've had a good chat with Sam about what we're looking at, the nature and the atmosphere of the Celtic people. Okay, Sam, so here we go again. Oh, no. <laughs> on a, <laughs> on Down another the Celtic massive, road. This another is the Rocky Road. Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> the Dolman Adventures. I think it is known um, as the Rocky Road, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. We can wear... We can wear the great kilt. The kilt itself was, is a modified bedroll. And it's not just that, you know, people would wear them without anything <laughs> underneath, <laughs> as is, is commonly yeah. thought. But you could actually combine it with trousers to keep that extra warmth. We, we've chosen a plaid which is pretty neutral to everybody. It is quite colourful, isn't it? There's a kind of a turquoisey element to it. But over looking at, looking at the dyes, I can see that these are like bark dyes. These are these are totally authentic. So that so that fits yeah. in with the earthiness. Yeah. And we can actually then as accessories. The uh, re reason we're not asking this is because like I know that if we if we're using on stage and that's what all of this is focused about is getting it onto that stage. Um, now different stage lights vary. Some places have got really really mega bright lights. Some yeah. are not so exuberant. If it's a if it's one of our sets and everything, like I mean, just, <laughs> it's a bit darker more than anything else. But um, but we know like uh, from experience, if, we, if we're using like a pure white shirt, for instance, uh, you glow so much on that stage, mm. you you don't you can't see anything else. All you do, mm -hmm. I mean, it actually can become quite an eyesore to the uh, to the audience at night. Right, so it's a historical atmosphere. It's got to be also, um, it's got to blend with the contemporary uh, where we are. Where we are. Yeah. You're also taking in quite, quite a few nationalities that are very strong and unique. You know, if you're looking at Irish or Welsh or Scottish, they're all unique to themselves, aren't they? That's, uh, and, and you've also and got then, the Cornish as well. And that's just, uh, that's just yeah. here in the UK. Yeah. And then we go to Germany. Yeah. And then we go to France, yeah. and we go to the, the Netherlands, and I, I sort of right the way through yeah. Europe. To even well, this is it. I've name. read that Alexander the Great was quite good friends with Celts, so um, that's going over, over to Macedonia. Yeah, it's, it's so extensive. There are so many different facets to um, the image of the Celt. You've got the warrior, you've got the, you know, the weaver. You've got the, the one who's sitting there inventing, experimenting with all these plants to in, it, produce all these colours. With only two months to go, both bands will spend their days and evenings in group rehearsals and individual practice ready for April the 8th when the Celtic Giants debut concert will take place at the Assembly Rooms in Glastonbury, UK. Celtic history is vast and it is important to the band to remain as accurate as possible 